Okay, everybody. All right, I'm going to kind of start. I got interrupted and then it, I lost the last video. So let's look at number 10 and I'm going to kind of start over. Remember, it says that it cannot. So Brandy places weights measuring one gram, five grams, and 10 grams on the right side. So I'm building. I'm just going to rebuild. I got another sheet of paper. Sorry about the interruption. And here we go again. All right, so on the right side, she has one gram, five grams, and 10 grams. And so this is going to total 16 grams, right? And the ones that cannot, so I'm going to start over. Let me just erase all of this up. Okay, so over here, it says that she's got a box of two grams weights and a box of four gram weights. Oh, so this is what she's gonna be using. And I think I started on the last video that we were adding those together. These are just things that she's using. So let's look at this. On this one right here, I have four four gram weights. So there's going to be four four gram weights that she can use. That's going to equal to 16. So this works out. So this one, it says it cannot. So this is a true statement, okay? So that's why it's not gonna work. This one right here, it says that it has eight two grams, and that equals to 16 grams. So this is also going to, that's a true statement. So that'll work, that's why that won't work, okay? Where C says that she has two four gram weights and for two gram weights. So this is eight plus eight, that equals to 16. So this makes it a true statement, that's why it won't work. And then on D, it says, because all of this will equal to one plus five plus 10. This is what I'm doing here. This will equal to one plus five plus 10. And this will equal to one plus five plus 10. You have 16 on this side, I'm gonna put 16 here, equals 16. So you see how that, so you see how I did that one. So these are the equations I'm coming out with these answer choices. And then this, it's gonna to total. So they balance each other. This last one then says, let me move this up here. There's going to be three, four grams. So three, four grams that she's using and one, two grams. So this makes it 12 plus two, that equals to 14. Is that going to equal to the 16 that we have here, which is one plus five plus 10? No, so this is a false statement. So this is the one that, that cannot be used. Okay, so we're good with that one. Sorry about that one and sorry about the cutoff. I think I need someone it's banging on my door too, but I'm not answering it. <laughs> scary, scary. All right, let's look at number 11. On the left side of the pan, there are two model cars that each weigh eight ounces. Okay, so let me go ahead and draw this out here. Here's another. Okay, so I have two model cars that each weigh eight ounces. So this is going to be two times eight. On the right side, this is on the left. Then it says on the right side, there is a model truck that weighs 12 ounces and a model car with an unknown. So I have 12 plus unknown. If both sides of the balance have the same weight, how much does the unknown model weigh? All right, well, this is 16. This is gonna be 12 plus the unknown. So how much would it weigh? Very good, it's gonna be four ounces. So it'd be 16 equals 16. So the answer is B. Let's look at number 12, multi-step problem. Cassie placed 14 cubes on the right side of a pan balance. So I have 14 cubes on the right side. She placed five cubes on the left. Then she removed half of the cubes on the right. So let's go ahead and draw this out. This is number 12. So on the right side, 
she has 14 cubes. And then she placed on the left side, this is where I'm putting the left. Okay, can you, let me just go through here. So on the left, on the right, she placed 14 cubes. On the left, she placed five cubes. So I'm gonna put five here. Then she removed half of the cubes on the right. So what is half? Okay, so she removed half. So I'm going to divide that by 2, or you can subtract 7, right? So this becomes now 7 is what she has here. Now the question is, Find the number of cues that Cassie must add to the left side to balance the, the pants. So this is going to be 5 plus what to give you 7? Yes, here we're going to have the 5 plus, because I need to have 7. This is a 7 year, so she's going to add 2 more. So here the answer will be 2. Let's look at number 13. The total weight of the shape blocks on both sides of Michael's pan balance equals 30 grams. So this is the total weight of the shape blocks on both sides. Circles weighs 5 grams. Squares weigh 10 grams. And triangles weigh 3 grams. The right side has a circle and a square. How many triangles are on the left side? All right, so let's go ahead. Let me get a sheet of paper. I'm going to kind of, let me pull this out a bit here. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so now I'm going to draw this out. I'm going to draw my balance. It's always easier just to draw out the picture. So we're talking about, I'm going to write it up here. I have circles that weigh five grams. I have squares that weigh 10 grams. And I have triangles that weigh three grams. Now it says that on the right side, it said the total amount is equal to 30 grams, which means that on this side, it's 15 grams. And on this side, it's 15 grams. Okay, so that total is 30, right? Got to split it up. Then it says that the right side has a circle and it has a triangle. The circle is 5 grams. The square, the, oh, it's a square. I drew a triangle. It's a square. And the square is 10. So what's the total amount on this side? There you go. It's 15, right? What do I need to add on here? It says how many triangles are going to be on the left side. If each triangle is 3 grams, then 3 times what will give you 15? Very good. So I'm going to have 5 triangles on the right side. Excellent. All right, let's move on to the last one. We'll place 12 cubes on the right side of a pan balance. And he placed three cubes on the left. Then he added 14 cubes on the left. Find the number of cubes he must add to the right to balance the beam. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna create a balance beam. All right, so let's start again. He said that he had 12 cubes on the right. So I'm gonna label this right and this is left. So I'm putting in 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then it said he placed three on the left, 1, 2, 3. Then he said he added 14 on the left. So I'm going to add 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, then 13, and 14. It says find the number of cubes he must add to the right 
So here we had 14 plus 3, and this is going to give us 17. Here was 12 plus what? Very good, it's going to be 5. So I need to have 12 plus 5 more to give me the 17 to bounce. So the answer over here is 5. All right, that's it for this evening. And sorry, I got cut off. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we have Math Lab, so we're going to be doing a review for your unit assessment. That is scheduled for Friday, but we may have it on Monday. Depends on how things go tomorrow and on Thursday. Have a great evening. Bye.